Hey y'all, so I am here with Vegas. And I'm gonna put him on some clothes cause I kind of was trying to wait until he got hair for a lot of stuff. But I'm not even done with him. Like, haven't finished all his matting up and haven't decided if I'm gonna add a little bit of more color to his um, face or what. But I'm gonna go ahead and get him. I wasn't thinking I have him at this end, but I wasn't thinking he needs to probably be at this end. I'm sure you're gonna have bushy eyebrows, but that's okay. So we're gonna just lay him this way for you guys. Um, so I was on Facebook as always, and I had this little romper thing. I because I bought that for him because of the holidays way back in Thanksgiving. And I never put it on him. But I don't even think I'm going to put it on him today. Because, I don't know. It's giving me it's too much. So I'm going to just put him on a sleeper. But So I was watching this. Um, uh, reading this post. The seller posted how... You know, she had, I guess she had sold this, this baby and the lady, um, you know, she, she was excited about the doll. She named it, all this and other. And then she came back to her. Well, she came back to her. She said she changed her mind. Can she get a refund? Um, basically she had a flat tire or <laughs> needed a new tire or something like that. So, um, she she didn't she decided not to um buy the doll and could she just refund her and she was like well you can keep the the thirty five dollars or whatever basically like don't quote me basically the lady was like you can keep you know thirty five or fifty dollars you know um but I would like to get a refund so the seller tells her. You know, my, my posts clearly say no refunds. Um, clearly say no refunds. And so, you know, basically, she not refunding her. Like, she gonna ship the doll, I guess. So, um, the lady comes back and say, well, you know, I tried, at least I tried. They had this whole conversation. The lady was like, okay, oh, cool, I'm gonna love him. Go ahead and send him out. Um, she named the baby, all this. She was talking, you know, typical stuff. Oh, this is the name I picked for him, blah, blah, blah. That's cute, la, 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 So she was saying, you know, so the lady was like, okay. The seller was like, I'm gonna get um, him shipped out to you Saturday. The lady was like, okay. You know, great, blah, 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 blah. She comes back and then she says, you know what? After they did all that and stuff and decided, yep, they're going forward with the sale, this, that, and the other. She comes back and she says, yeah, I don't, I don't, basically, I don't, I don't want you to ship him. You know, you can keep a hundred dollars. I think she went up as high as a hundred dollars. You can keep a hundred dollars. And, you know, just send me the rest. I don't care when you refund, how long it takes you to refund me. Like, I just want to refund, blah, 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 blah. At this point, the fact that she said she don't care how long it takes her to refund her and all this stuff, it, it tells me that it wasn't about the tire. It tells me that it was more of, I changed my mind, um, something I saw in the pictures bug me or I seen something else or I got a better deal on something else that's what it gives me um because if she needed the money for an emergency she would be trying to get the refund like right away so she was like I could just put it on my credit card with the tire earlier so it wasn't about the tire it was about she didn't want the doll she had changed her mind you know that was basically buyer's remorse before she got the doll um the seller was 
you know, upset and said she was a nightmare to deal with. She wouldn't recommend her. She posted her stuff. So a lot of people came in and basically defended the buyer. A lot of different people defended the buyer because they said, well, the doll hadn't shipped yet. Um, so, you know, she don't see what the, you know, what the, they didn't see what the deal was. They thought the lady was being really nice, et cetera, et cetera. So, I don't know what your take is on that. Um, so, basically, it goes like this. So, the seller posts a doll, says no refunds, a ready-made doll. The buyer buys it, pays for it, tells her she changed her mind. She needs a refund. The seller tells her there's a no refund policy. Um, the buyer says, okay, let's go forward. I'm excited to get this baby. The seller says, um, okay, I'll ship out Saturday. The buyer comes back and say, never mind. I want my refund. The seller basically tells her again why it's a no refund policy. She tells her that, you know, it's a lot of prepping going to the box packing and all that stuff. The money has already been allocated for certain funds or whatever, whatever. So the lady says, so then she tells her, the seller tells the buyer that she will not accept the, the, the package. She's just going to refuse the delivery. And she go ahead and request a refund through the website, I guess. So here's my thing. This is a very twofold situation because I've been in a situation where I basically like prepaid a pre-ordered a baby before I really seen it in full and um like there was gonna be some <sighs> I, I don't know but I think if she would have just been up front and said you know, I'm looking at this and I don't really like it or something. I don't know because the seller said, you know, the best thing was to go ahead and refund them and just never do business with them again. But I think the I think if the buyer would have been honest and said, hey, in the, the beginning, not come up with this story of, oh, I had this emergency, whatever, whatever, and just said, hey, I don't really I've decided I don't like the baby because of bloom, 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 bloom. The the seller would have felt, I think, more inclined to be like, okay, well, you know, this is going to be a buyer's remorse situation. Because for me, once a person is already being iffy before you ship your doll, it's best to just refund them and 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 not deal with that situation because they're just going to get the doll and come up with all these things of why this is not right i don't like this i don't like that you know um they're going to have a thousand stories um i know for me there's been times where you know not many but a few times where it's like if if a customer just you know um express some type of concern or you know, doubts about a baby or whatever. I'm like, listen, let me, let's not do this type situation. But if, if I keep insisting on trying to, um, refund you or whatever, and you insist on getting the baby, once you get that baby home, I'm then at that point, yeah, I'm not being bothered with that because you don't get to get the baby, look at it, preview it, play with it. And then turn around and say, I don't want it. I want my money back. No, you don't, you don't get to, you know, you don't get, to, you don't get to get that option. Like for me, I think that part would have annoyed me. But the fact that she had not shipped yet, um, I, I think that the first thing, as soon as the lady said, oh, I, you know, I want my money back type thing. I don't, I don't want it. I would have just been like, okay. Let me refund her her money. But people were saying like, oh, she doesn't, there's no funds being spent if the doll was already made and this and that. 
Well, you don't really know that necessarily. I'm, I'm going to say this because I was agreeing with them until I thought about it. But maybe she waits until she gets a buyer to go out and buy the things to go in the box packing. So maybe she did go out and spend like $35 or so or $40 on clothes and, you know, little trinkets to go in the box packing. And now, because, you know, this is over a course of days. So now, and then now she's already spent some of the money and now this lady want a refund. And then people are like, oh, I know she probably had buyers lined up, but you all know how the community work. Yeah, she might have had a buy buyers lined up, but once she marked the baby as sold, those buyers moved on. They have bought something else or are no longer interested. Um, and there's something about to be said about this community like a lot of people and I hate to say this but a lot of us don't have a brain like we if we see the baby like being rejected by one buyer we tend to think something is wrong so we don't buy the doll the next time so it makes it harder when you say oh the buyer canceled out sometime it, it does make it harder so where I don't feel like the lady was trying to scam her because a lot of people will wait till you ship and then say they want a refund I do feel like the the buyer was inconsiderate of the seller position. Um, so, I don't know. In this case, first of all, I wouldn't even waste that much time going back and forth for her. Ma'am, okay, get your tires. Look, boom. Don't come to me no more. Because at this point, you just... Because there's times where I've... <laughs> I won't lie. There's times when I bought a baby and I was just like... I shouldn't have even really bought that baby. Like, for real. Like, why did I even pay for that baby? But I was like, you know what? When it get here, if I love it, I love it fine. If I don't, I'll just sell it. You know, because I understand the buy and sell process. It's already, like, nerve-wracking for sellers as it is. And I do think that people were... Their response made sense on the lady post. But I do feel like they were a little bit harsh towards the seller as it became like more like they were disciplining her for feeling the way she felt and okay let's just love on the buyer but people be so quick to do that until it's them in that position um my thing is i prefer somebody to tell me before i ship the doll out that's my thing and when i used to sell on ebay i preferred them to say something there's been a couple people that have canceled on eBay before oh I didn't mean to click buy it now or oh this and a you know or they thought I was I had already shipped and they then they say oh they wait a few days they figure you are a day or two and they figure you don't ship so then they go in and they um cancel try to cancel their you know request or withdraw their money whatever the case may be they they'll try to do or they won't pay it all but um I appreciate that than them to ha take their money back and get the doll. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in this situation. How you would have handled it. Or do you think the buyer was just being extra drama filled by putting that post out there. Putting that person name out there. The scenario. Or do you think that, um, you know, the awareness is good. Do you think this buyer is possibly somebody that does this all the time? You know, it could be a one-off situation. It could be, like I said, I have honestly, and I'm I'm being totally honest, I have actually been in a position where I liked a doll and bought it before, you know, it became, you know, fully flourished and then realized you know, a technicality or I, I, I'm going to say that because I, I don't want to go into too much detail. But, you know, sometimes like, for instance, OK, I'm going to just I'm going to put it like this. And, you know, it's kind of hard to do. And I I, 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 I I probably won't ever do this again. Sometime when an artist show their work and they say, you know, they're taking orders or whatever and they show the doll before you know like say for instance if it's silicone and they show it as the oak first and they're like okay we're taking orders when you see the oak you may not see how it's gonna really really look when once it's in the silicone and i have 
you know, you know, thought that once they put it together, you know, certain things would be different. But when it's put together, it's like not, you know, or in, in certain photos, they don't show certain parts of the baby or the doll or whatever. And you, you miss that part. And then when you pay your money and then they, you see it in silicone, uh, it's just, it's not what you, you thought. That doesn't really give you the right to back out necessarily. I will say that, but I don't know. I think, I don't know. Like I say, I, I feel like the buyer just, there was something about the doll that she ended up being turned off by and she just decided she just really don't, didn't want it or she found something better or a better price. And I, I that's just my thought process on that. Seriously. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would share that story with you guys while I get him in this. And this is probably what he'll stay in. I can put him on a hat, but I don't even know where his little hat's at. But I'll have to find him a little hat because it's, it's getting too hot to be for him to be wearing these old thick hats. So um, he's going to have to get some hair soon. But yeah, so it just be so much stuff goes on into this community with buying and selling. And it's kind of why, like, I paint a lot more than I sell, believe it or not. Like, I that's why I tend to keep a lot of my babies because I just hate dealing with the buying and selling process. And, you know, I hate being the buyer. I hate being the seller. So a lot of times I just paint for myself. Um, but I mean, when it goes good, it goes really good. Like it's very rewarding when you, when mommies get the babies and they love it and they're excited and stuff, but it's, it's a huge letdown when, you know, if you get a, a, a unhappy customer or not even just an unhappy customer, or you never hear from them you know, after they get the baby, like you, they don't, they don't say nothing. They don't message you. They don't nothing. You know, um, I've had that happen to me like two times on eBay. Like they don't say nothing. Then all of a sudden they finally leave me a review and it's a good review. Or months later, one of the buyers contacted me one time and she was like, you know, I'm not good with the computers and stuff like that. And she was like, I absolutely love them. And she became a repeat customer. So, you know, it doesn't always mean that it's not good. It's just that people don't, you know they don't think to do that or let you know that the dog arrived okay so i just feel like hey you know sometimes no news is good news but selling is just you know a lot of pressure so you know i i i i don't necessarily handle my business in a way that i put my business transactions out there openly and publicly like that um but i won't lie and say that I do kind of appreciate when I do get to see what's going on with other sellers and stuff like that. Because sometimes you think, man, I'm, you know, this happened to me or that happened to me. And, you know, it, it just kind of gives you an idea of what other people go through or how they handle it or, or what it looks like. You know, sometimes when you say stuff out loud, it sounds differently than when you're talking to yourself and kind of like keeping it to yourself. So, I don't know. I kind of appreciate those, but I don't want to be on the on either side of that publicly. I wouldn't want to be the buyer. I wouldn't want to be the seller that the post is actually pertaining to because, you know, like I said, they now everybody is like putting down the buy, the seller and like glorifying the 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 buyer. They're saying, "Oh, she was so nice and she was offering you to keep some of the money and like I think you you're being a whole, you know, unprofessional or you're being you're trying to force the sale on her and this and other and it's it's not about forcing the sale it's just letting them know you hey you can't go around buying stuff and and then want to take your money back like you can't go around telling people spending all their time telling them you're, you're going to get this baby and then you don't get the baby that's that's what i think the seller was trying to say she said in her post that she she knew refunding her was the best thing so 
clearly she's going to refund the lady or she was going to refund the lady but she just felt like it was unfair to her and and i i think you know i don't know like i said i don't i didn't see the doll i don't know what what caliber it was what level it was because for me i'll be honest like if it's a lower end doll i tend to just I, I personally, I, I rarely, I think I've only backed out of, if I don't sell the doll, like, you know, sell my, my, my blank or sell it before it comes to me or something like that, I've only backed out maybe one transaction where it was my part. And I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. And I really, I couldn't see myself spending that type of money for a product that was just all wrong, in my opinion. Um, you know, once I seen the, the full product, it was just like, it's just a no for me. And luckily, you know, me and the seller worked it out privately. And, you know, that was that. Um, it, but I... I just normally I will just get it you know um, I even to be honest I even had second thoughts about a particular high-end doll that I got and I, I got it and I liked it or whatever but it didn't stay long um, I end up just selling it because I don't want to put the seller through that you know what I mean I don't and you know sometimes people contact me and I know this is a long video but sometimes people contact me and they're just like, yeah, I really want that. Oh, the price is kind of stiff. Uh, I don't know. This I'll be like, little baby, you know, it'll be other dolls. You know, this might not be the one for you. And people, people, they may not tell you this about me, but most people that have done business with me will listen. I've had some repeat customers that come to me and be like, I just really want to get this. You know, I don't want to lose out. Can I put a deposit? I got this going on, that going on. and and But I really don't want to miss out. Look, baby, take care of yourself first. Come back to me. If it's not here, you know, it's always another doll. Like, because I don't want to deal with people getting my, my babies and being like, oh, I, I, this, you know, oh, the tip is crooked, you know. Oh, she, she got, she, she got a dot on her forehead. Oh my God. I can't believe this. It'd be like the, the littlest thing because they already was having buyer remorse before the doll even reached them. So, of course, every little thing they see is going to irritate them. You know what I mean? If you feel like you paid too much for a doll and then you get to the every little thing that about that doll is going to irritate you. So, I try to avoid those situations. And so, I don't, I don't know. Maybe people might say that's unfair. But, you know... Just like people are making sure I'm a I'm a valid seller, I'm kind of making sure people are valid buyers. And I also don't want to, you know, like I said, I just want an easy transaction. Like, I don't care if you get the doll and sell it the next day. That don't bother me. Um, but I don't want you to get the doll and call me and, and be like, oh, I don't, I don't want this, I don't, this and that. So, you know, for me, and it's another reason why I don't do layaway as much because people back out, they, they have buyer's remorse, they, you know, or, you know, it's just, it, it, it tends to be, you know, somebody got the money, they spent it, boom, you know, money is not a big deal for them in this particular time or situation. So they're not going to be as pressed as you know i done spent my whole month's salary on this one doll and now i'm looking for it to be pure perfection i like i want it to be everything but breathing when it gets here because you know i've spent everything i got type situation so anyway you know that's enough with my rambling but i i i just like to share these type of situations because I think a lot of times the community does not understand the stress that comes along with buying and selling. And it, it's on both ends. It's not just on the buyer's end. It's on the seller's end as well. And for, you know, for me to share something so personal, which is my work, it, 
it's personal to me. I've, I've gave my best. I've done my all. And now somebody's getting to look at it up under a microscope. It is very, very, very nerve wracking. And sometimes I'm like full of anxiety until the baby reach. You know what I mean? So I don't like the process. I, I really enjoy making the babies. I love when mommies are happy, but that's why I don't, I don't sell as much because I don't know. The community can be so harsh too and they can be so nitpicky. I, I remember um, a seller being telling me how specific they wanted to the hair to be and this and that and all this and stuff. And then they get other dolls and I'm looking at them like, girl, what? Like, so you, it's okay for you to get a doll look like Gabby rooted it from somebody else, but you want me to do spin curls and cockwheels and twirls and swirls in the baby head. Oh, okay. Like, you know, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot sometimes. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the chat. We'll talk later. Let me know. Drop down in that comment section because y'all know them comments. That's where it's at. Let me know what you think, you know, how you feel. And um, I don't want to hear no name bashing, nothing personal. Don't go talking about, you know, I bought from so-and-so. Please keep it general um, because this ain't the, the place for you to be, like, trying to bash somebody because I just delete those comments anyway. They don't sit. And even if you leave it at 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. At 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, all around the clock, I'm going delete the comment like don't do that you know let's just keep it classy all right talk to you guys later bye